breaking news. Multi-agency armed raid hits raw foods, a healthy family farms for selling raw milk and cheese. That, by the way, you can buy the raw cheese at Whole Foods. It's really expensive and it's really good because th this boiled stuff isn't real cheese. The milk you get at stores isn't real milk. I'm going to tell you about that briefly before we go to our next guest here where humans are being turned into products. And we're going to break that down. Again, Mike Adams is joining us in about 40 minutes, but I want to just briefly hit this because this is big. Breaking news. Multi-agency armed raid hits Rossum Foods, healthy family farms for selling raw milk and cheese. Now, again, 50 years ago, folks, everybody got raw milk delivered. It was all local dairies. But the big combines came in and said, how do we sell basically rotten milk? That, I mean, and I, I've had family involved in, in dairies. I've milked cows when I've worked on ranches. I know all about it. Okay, the point I'm going to tell you here, and I'm going to go to our guest. Let me explain something. It is a magic food, a perfect food, milk, when it's live. It's got antibodies, everything. It's live. It lasts for a week if you keep it cold. But if you get any blood or any cow manure or anything in it, if the place isn't perfectly clean, you got to throw the whole batch of milk out. And the first time you get somebody sick, they never buy your milk again. Plus, you really don't get sick. It's just, it might taste sour or taste bad or whatever. Okay. But Big Agra said, we want to just have big, giant systems, bankrupt the small dairies, buy them up. We're going to get laws passed, start at state level. Now the CDC is involved in this to make you boil the milk. They boil it and turn it into basically a cheese product, and it's deadly for your heart. And that's why I don't have local dairies anymore like the one Ron Paul worked for growing up in uh, Pittsburgh. Okay, you all had local dairies. People knew who had the best milk. You ever had a problem, you're out of business. The point is, is that they, they radiate beef now so they can sell you rotten meat. They, they, they do all of this so they can give you dirty food. And they've hit them with SWAT teams, arrested them. And, and again, they're, they're, they're selling the idea this is illegal now. It's not even illegal. The, 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 I mean, they're SWAT teaming Amish, but this is a new massive raid in Los Angeles County with guns drawn, putting people in police cars, again, to scare everybody. They're shutting down real American industry. Okay, I mean, this is, the Soviet Union didn't even do this. Okay, only in America. I take you now to Mike Adams, who joins us, the health ranger. Breaking news, multi-agency armed raid hits Rossum Foods. Healthy family farms for selling raw milk and cheese. Then these raids are going on everywhere. Uh, don't have time for the big corrupt banksters and people. But the, and then this isn't even illegal. Then that's what they break down. It's just it's done to create a chilling effect. You must buy your GMO garbage. You must die of cancer. And it's up at naturalnews.com and infowars.com. Uh, and uh, Mike Adams joins us via video Skype for the rest of this short segment and the next one. Uh, boy, I tell you, they are really dropping the hammer on what's left of middle America and people trying to have their own uh, commerce locally, uh, Mike Adams. They are really coming after the food supply. They're going all out, Alex. And this is, this is a breaking story that we're bringing you today. And we just sent video over to your producers. Maybe they can roll that. That's video hot off the scenes as these thugs, basically, these thugs with badges are loading up the, uh, the cheese and they're pouring milk down the drains. That, that's not on the video yet, but more videos coming in. They are going in and destroying and vandalizing this entire store. They went after the cash of the owner. They did not read him his rights. They handcuffed him and put him into an unmarked vehicle. They did not serve a proper warrant. And this all happened this morning, and protests are taking place right now in Venice, California, outside the, the Rossum Food store. So the, the, they have no shame, Alex. They don't even pretend to follow the law. They're, they're just outright thugs now. Well, listen, I can buy uh, raw milk and raw cheese at, at, at Whole Foods. I can buy it at Central Market. I bought uh, two blocks of it, little blocks this weekend when my parents came over, and we ate it before dinner. I mean, it, was, it, just, it, it tastes absolutely delicious and alive and good, and I guess I'm going to be SWAT team now. I mean, this <laughs> is legal. They're just doing this to scare everybody, and they do it with guns because the jury's dumb and thinks, well, they have guns. Aimed at them, they must be criminals. That's right. This was a SWAT-style raid with helmets and bulletproof vests and other other gear, like mob-style, I mean, SWAT-style raids, but conducted with a mob mentality. They went in, they followed the owner from his home, and then they raided his home 
and they raided his store and they raided a farm today. Three raids took place this morning, again, an interagency raid involving the CDC as well. And you have to ask, why is the CDC involved in these raids? I mean, now, now, now we're rolling some of the video in the background yeah. for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. We'll get this posted in the articles at InfoWars.com. Then get it over there at NaturalNews.com. Uh, but uh, the, the, this video you were sent, uh, it looks like it was shot clandestinely. What is going on on this video? Yeah, that's a, that. You're right. It was shot clandestinely by a person on the scene with a cell phone who was afraid that they were going to be intimidated or arrested if they were witnessed filming the video of law enforcement there confiscating the products and destroying the products and that is not 20 minutes uh, off the scene alex so your viewers are the first to see this across the web and around the world and sometimes we'll keep rolling in the background but sometimes they they'll spend a year or more infiltrating even though it's public nobody's hiding it's an open store getting data to find out when they've got their biggest production run and have made an investment designed to bankrupt them. And they SWAT team the Amish. Uh, yeah. you know, I mean, people selling tomatoes. I mean, uh, wow, we're watching this footage right now. All these resources to go after stuff that's non-criminal. The first thing they did, Alex, when they, when they initiated the raid, they went to the owner and they, they pulled out their guns and they said, where's the cash? And he disclosed... <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly, they go after the cash. Well, no, these disclosed. are armed robbers. That's what tyranny is. Yeah, well, and there's the cash. I mean, Everybody get on the floor, it's it. a bank robbery. They, they went after the cash, and they destroyed his products. I mean, isn't this a Chicago mob hit? Isn't that what they did? Yeah, I, I, actually, I'm watching them here destroy products in the back of a truck. I mean, it's just like descending like locusts. We got people selling quality cheese. Get the SWAT team. Where's the cash? Everybody on the floor. Money! Yeah! Stay with us, Mike. It's America. It's Money. ours. He'll pull up with anything. 50 years ago, raw milk was everywhere. You had local dairies. They delivered it to your front door. That's why there was a milkman. They had grocery stores, but your milk was delivered fresh for the day. How many bottles you wanted? Big family, two or three bottles. One person, you know, a small bottle. They delivered fresh milk. And there was no problems. Big Agri wanted to be able to sell rotten milk, keep it a lot longer, shut down their competition. They passed state laws. They lobbied. They shut off their competition, the monopoly men. Now it's all coming back, and they are trying to shut it down. But people selling pumpkins, people selling tomatoes. This is about, hey, you're going to buy from us. The system is scared. Here in Austin, it's caught on big time. These co-ops and people have a farm and then you own your cow in the stall and then you go get your milk. Totally legal. Trying to stop that. They have a farmer's market. Folks would bring the milk under private sale. You could buy the milk that was, you know, taken out of the cow uh, at, at, at 5 a.m. I mean, I've bought it. Not now. They had undercover people there uh, threatening folks. And it's like it's not the law, but a cop's threatening you and they will pistol whip you. They will get you. They're, look. This is the new America. And, and Mike, uh, is it just me, or do I see this stuff exploding now? There's a major assault going on. Tell us what else happened in this case. Well, it's very clear the pressure is on, and they're, they're resorting to illegal tactics. For example, they gave uh, James here $123,000 bail, and they set it at that level. But they told him that he could not use bail bonds to raise that money, and they demanded that he had to disclose whatever sources that he used to raise the money so that he could make bail. Now, that is completely illegal. Uh, it's a violation of his due process rights. But you see, they don't respect the law anymore. The entire raid is probably illegal. We'll find out because we're going to get a copy of the warrant. Meanwhile, uh, the eventually. ATF is shipping guns to drug gangs in the U.S., not just Mexico. But that's okay. But they're giving this guy a mafia-level uh, bond uh, for... Uh, tell us the evil. Uh, tell us about this company. Oh, yeah, they're, they're terribly evil because they offer wholesome raw milk from farms where cows are not treated with uh, recombinant bovine growth hormones. They're not given vaccines. They're free-range cows. They sell free-range chicken eggs. Those are obviously very evil. Whoa. They sell uh, all kinds of wholesome foods and products that actually help people prevent Diseases. So basically, they raided a crack house. That's good. Folks selling eggs, that's a, that's a no-no. I mean, <laughs> what do they think? It's land of the free, home of the brave? I mean, North Korea, you're allowed to sell eggs, but not here. Uh, so where is this going now? 
Uh, well, right now he's being held in L.A. at a police department. Uh, I've been on the phone with representatives to find out the, the next steps. We know we're going to organize a public protest in L.A. Remember, Alex, this is the second time that law enforcement has raided this same store, Raw Some Foods, which is a private buying club that sells raw milk and raw cheese. They don't hide it. They, they openly talk about... Oh, we're, they are, yeah, are these the folks where they have their own security cameras and it's the cops yelling with the guns? It's the same place. Oh, so it's punishment. You don't it's show... Punishment. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know how it works. They're, they're, now they're coming after the cash. They're going to put you out of business, destroy your products, make sure you can't make bail, and they're going to keep the pressure on until you give in. But we're not giving in. You know, it, we are fighting back against these tyrants and... and Thank you for covering this story, Alex, because this, this has got to go national. People need to understand this could come to your hometown, your favorite store, your favorite farm. They could put everybody in prison and say it's for public health. Well, they also raided the healthy family farms, right? The, the source yes. of the evil devil milk. We don't know all the details about that, but they did conduct that raid. We're going to learn more and share it with you. All right, Mike, the main broadcast is over. I know you got to go and get on this, but I want to do five minutes of overdrive with you. It'll be prisonplanet.tv only and the uh, free audio streams at infowars.com. For everybody else, key rebroadcast coming up, getting into all of the incredible debt limit garbage, the Super Congress, all of it. Great job, crew. yourselves what are you doing in this time of great challenge what are you doing to unlock minds